And LSU did sign five-star plus defensive tackle Dominic McKinley out of Acadiana. Again, a, kind of a quick ceremony for him. He had you know, already gone down the ceremony path at one point when he committed to Texas A&M. Today was a celebration as he committed, uh, signed with LSU, I should say, uh, giving LSU the number one player in the state of Louisiana, one of the best prospects in the entire country as a five-star plus, and uh, one of the best defensive linemen, more importantly, which Brian Kelly talked about the need for defensive linemen in his signing day press conference. To get Dominic McKinley to sign, very important. He was committed. It's not surprising because with Bo Davis coming on board, LSU solidified his decision with that hire from what his his mom told uh, me, um, you know, throughout uh, their their January process uh, as they got to know Bo Davis as uh, the LSU defensive line coach. He was already at Texas. This was uh, just a huge addition. And, you know, with Bussy signing elsewhere, this kind of gets overshadowed, but it absolutely should not. No, and you're if you're watching on YouTube, <clears throat> excuse me, you'll see us ranking number three D lineman in the country, number 13 overall prospect on the industry rankings, and the number one player in Louisiana. So for so many reasons, this was a massive one. And look, he had a great junior year. He had another really good senior season. And then he went to the All-American Bowl and really tore things apart, uh, or I should say the Under Armour All-American game. That practice week against some of the nation's best O-linemen, uh, he was in bully mode and it up to stock even more. I think almost every recruiting service bumped him even further up their lists and rankings. Um, no one had him ranked outside the top 25, regardless of position. And I, when you look at it, Billy, it's, hey, LSU needed D lineman. LSU needed D lineman. And Brian Kelly said today, look, we got some good ones, but we're going to still look in the spring portal window. We're going to see if we can move some guys around because we want more depth there. But when you talk about recruiting elite guys and developing them, you want to be competing with the best of the best. And Dominic McKinley being the number three D lineman in the country, that's a big win. LJ McRae, who's from Florida, uh, is the number one D lineman in the country, signed with Florida. Uh, Miami signed the number two D lineman, Justin Scott. They went up to Illinois to do it. OU, who's joining the SEC, had the number four D lineman. Georgia, the number five D lineman. Then you get right back to number seven D lineman in the country. LSU signed him, Gabriel Relaford. And that makes two of them, McKinley and Relaford, that they flipped from Texas A&M. So two Louisiana guys committed to A&M. They flipped them both at major positions of need. And when the dust settles on three ranks, both guys as top seven defensive linemen in the country. Um, and now you've got Bo Davis running things on the D-line, someone who has got plenty of skins on the wall, whether it's with recruiting or development, however you want to slice it. It feels like a... It is a position of worry, but it's certainly being addressed. 